Okay, if you had that on video, it would have been me going, oh my God. Please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hello, Vegan Food Explorers. We have got an absolutely epic video today. We're gonna be reviewing the impeccable vegan chicken breasts from the Vegetarian Butcher. Now, the Vegetarian Butcher creates a whole load of different products from vegetarian, actually, I think there's only, there's not that many vegetarian, the majority are vegan. So I love it. They're called Impeccable. We know where the name comes from. It's soy-based chicken style fillet, fortified with vitamin B12, high in protein, and a source of iron. And where this product is so different in my mind from almost anything else on the market today is because it's not a breaded chicken. It's not a battered chicken. It's not chicken mixed up in soy chunks in something else. It is literally supposed to be like a chicken breast. So I was reading about it on, on, on their review, on their explanations and things like that. And they're saying it's supposed to be like a blank canvas. So you can, instead of, you know, you, you're never going to have a, well, I wouldn't have like a chicken. You wouldn't serve up a, a southern fried fillet in your, in your kind of regular chicken, chicken food that you, you would cook yourself. And that's where these come in, where you can just start super plain and add your own flavors to it. The reasons why this is it, it hasn't been done as much before there are now a few competitors such as meatless farm but this in my eyes was a pioneer because it's a hell of a lot easier to blend everything together and make it really taste taste nice and give it some flavor whereas going out like this you're putting your neck on the line that this is going to look taste feel like chicken and i think it's brave and i cannot wait to try it so price wise costs three quid three quid for two portions so that's one pound fifty each and you get calorie wise um it is 135 calories and then 14 grams of protein each it is a pricey product it's a pricey product in my opinion and i think that's fair because it's a it is so different to anything else that's on the market and um, protein wise is 14 grams and then it has 6.45 grams of, of fat, which is pretty good actually. It's made from water and then 38% plant structure, which is water, soy protein, cornstarch and wheat gluten. So that's where it gets its, its protein from. And like they said, it's also got that vitamin B12. So per portion, which I assume is a, is a chicken breast, is 27% uh, of your daily B12 and then 15% of iron. So it's pretty cool. So I'm pleased that it is relatively low in fat and higher in protein. Really, that's got to match, that's got to match what you're looking for for chicken. So looks wise, let's just open it up. Something really interesting that I wanted to point out is I bought these a couple of weeks ago and I was like, ah, oh, I forgot to eat them, forgot to eat them. They go off. 19th of October, it's the 9th of October at the moment. And I bought them two weeks ago. That couldn't be any more opposite to actual non-vegan chicken, which if you uh, have ever cooked with chicken, you know it feels like it's trying to kill you. You have to wash your hands, you have to wash your knife, you have to wash everything. Probably something there that you maybe, in my opinion, shouldn't be. we shouldn't be eating food that is trying to kill us unless we absolutely blitz it in heat and kill everything on it it's safe to eat just something that i realized when i went vegan that's kind of crazy isn't it but let's open this up first off i'm impressed because i find these plastic things they always either this comes off or the loop comes off or whatever smell wise aroma doesn't smell great to be fair vegan chicken chicken doesn't smell great Okay, it's lo loosened up a bit now. Bit, bit pongy at the beginning. Right, let's have a look at these breasts then. <laughs> okay. So soft, squidgy. You can tell that, I think you can tell that that's not a, a chicken breast. I think you could tell. I think maybe you could trick someone. I think they'd think it looked a bit funny. The shape is, is great. The texture is great. Kind of nice flavor and um, feathering and like kind of, 
it does it does look like an organic product here it's very it's got a lot of um kind of liquid on here moisture i guess that must be some sort of oil yeah rapeseed oil I assume that's the oil there it's really soft really really soft squidgy but it's not falling apart at all pretty cool okay so on first views i'm pretty impressed with that feels looks it's not a oh my god you're gonna trick someone with it but it looks does the job i think so how we cook it so we have a choice we can pan fry it for three minutes on each side until golden brown we can barbecue it under the grill for six to eight minutes or we can oven cook it for 20 minutes so i saw on instagram someone had pan fried it at i think a vegetarian butcher from memory looked awesome went really gold kind of burnished gold on the side so we're going to fire up the griddle pan see if we can get some really nice griddle lines on there and we're going to see what's what how i'm cooking this today i'm frying both of them and then i'm going to have them in a stir fry i've got all my stir fry stuff ready to go over here um but we're going to be cooking this naked and see what's what having the taste test i cannot wait let's go they've just come out of the grill and they're looking pretty good actually i tried to make sure they're cooked on all sides we've got a bit of stuff on the the pan here so maybe try and ignore that but i think because of their size their shape they don't really squidge down so it got very cooked here but not as much here so i tried to flip them around a little bit but you can see they look looking pretty good a little bit brown a little bit of oil on there kind of gone golden i've got to say the ones on instagram definitely looked a, more, a lot more golden than this but if the taste is great we don't care okay i'm gonna cut it open here and then we're gonna try it let's have a little look okay i'm gonna slice and dice here yeah it feels soft feels feels nice and soft oh i'm really impressed with that look at that god that looks yeah that's really really realistic there okay let's have a look around here i mean that is pretty cool isn't it <clears throat> that's pretty amazing that's <laughs> bloody hell that is pretty pretty impressive there it's got super striations here just like a chicken breast that's amazing wow look at that okay yeah actually that one looks a little bit less impressive but i've got to say the other side looked really really impressive that, that is amazing isn't it also something i wanted to say before we go for the taste test is one of the ingredients is processed ushima seaweed which is pretty cool no idea what that actually means or does but i've never had processed ushima seaweed well knowingly but it can look the best it can be the best price it can have the best packaging the best brand name blah 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 we do not care about any of that because if it doesn't taste good what's the point in my opinion so let's have a look i'm taking this bit which is kind of the edge bit probably the thinner end so it should be perfectly cooked. We did it three, we did it a little bit longer than three minutes. I did it about two, three minutes each side. Did about seven minutes in the end just to get it grilled on the side, on all of the sides. So let's go in. Okay, if you had that on video, it would have been me going, oh my God. And actually saying, oh my God. The texture. There's two things we're gonna do, the texture and the taste. The texture is pretty good. It's a bit more squidgy on the outside than a chicken breast would be, vegan, a non-vegan chicken breast. A bit squidgy, a bit more rubbery, I feel. The inside is definitely really great. Tender, chewable. I think you can tell it's not chicken breast. You can tell it's slightly, slightly different. Slightly, slightly, slightly. It's really impressive. I've got to say on the texture, it's, it's, yeah, it is really impressive, but you can tell. I have, I'll come back to the taste, the texture, the taste, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. I can't believe it. I used to um, eat a lot of chicken breast, just pure chicken breast. I used to cook a lot of chicken breast before I was vegan. I know exactly what chicken breast tastes like. That is really, really similar. I'm gonna go in for another bite. That is terrifyingly real. Terrifyingly real. It's that, it's almost a sweetness, but then it's a little bit more of a depth of flavor and then it kind of pings back. It's almost, 
even I can't describe it. Whereas I had some vegan kind of chicken nuggets um, last night, and they are, you know, they don't really taste like chicken, do they? Because you're so overcome with the breadcrumb flavoring and chicken nuggets, they never taste like chicken before. This is amazing. This is crazy. I would say the texture is pretty good, like really good. I still think it, I mean, I'm talking tiny percents here. I think it's maybe 90% texture. There's just something where you're like, I don't know, that's a bit too rubbery, squidgy, but it is really good. The flavor is insane, insane, absolutely insane. The Beyond Burger is the only thing that even comes close to matching the flavor of a beef burger and it does that exceptionally well. I think chicken and going so bold in a chicken breast, so plain, such a plain thing, that is amazing. I am, I'm really impressed. I was quite worried because I've had these in the in the fridge for a couple of weeks and I don't know, you, see, you know, even with a chicken breast, they look a bit anemic, a bit, oh, I don't know. And then when I was cooking it and they weren't browning on the outside, kind of probably I was like, oh no, is this just going to be, is it, what I feared is that it would be kind of hard on the outside and then just really soft on the inside and you're just like, this is not cooked. And then I'd cook it again and it would cook too much and it'd just be disgusting. It's pretty amazing. It's so nice. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm supposed to put this in the stir fry, but I feel like what's the point? You want to eat it on its own. I, yeah, I always give my honest review and I'm not trying to blow smoke up anyone's backside, but this has to be eaten to be believed. If you've had chicken before, it will. I think you'll be shocked. You will be shocked. This is a game changer. Um, people have said mixed reviews to me on Instagram about it, but a lot have said it's been really good and I am really impressed. This is like a, it's scary. Scary, scary, scary. So that's the review. I wish it had less fat in it. I wish it had less fat in it. It's got 7.2 grams of fat per chicken breast, which is pretty good, but I just wish it was lower, just like a non-vegan chicken breast. It would be one of the most perfect products out there. This is amazing. This has got to be, I think it's more realistic. Um, no, I think the Beyond Burger is probably more realistic, but I do feel, in my opinion, it is a bit easier. This is so realistic for something that is must be so difficult to match. I think they've done an ex outstanding job. If you can afford the three pounds, do it. Because if you want that experience, you can't find it anywhere else. So that's the review. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you terrified by the flavor in a good way or a bad way? Do you think, how have they done it? Let me know. Do you think it tastes nothing like chicken? Am I off my head? I strongly disagree with you on that. Let me know. Let me know what's the best way to eat this. Shall I eat it just normally? Shall I chuck it in a sandwich? Shall I put it in a stir fry? Let me know. Thank you for watching. We have got absolutely loads more content. I've got a ton of footage on my phone that I need to edit. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, and we have got tons of videos of more amazing vegan food coming up. Thank you for watching.